Uh, this is fish number one, and that's with head on. I'm going to go ahead and show you one of my favorite ways with the head actually removed right now. Now this, uh, this takes a pretty nice and stringy branch to do so, and what I'm using here is what's called a salt cedar. It's an invasive species here in Texas. I have to cut it down all the time, so I might as well uh, find a use for it. So I have a real long stick right here, about a thumb width wide, and it's going to split down really, really easily. I've also got a couple of spits. These are about six inches long, just uh, more, more of your little branches. And today's fish is perch. And we're out here in West Texas. We have a couple little water holes, and uh, these are some of the fish that stay in there quite often. And that's full grown, but it's good eating if you know how to prepare it and uh, not many people do. So let's go ahead and get on with this thing. I've gone ahead and just cut this branch off. It still needs a little bit more processing. I wanna go ahead and take the tip off because uh, that's just gonna get in the way. And so this is the beginning of the prep, at least for the stick. What I'm gonna do, and you can do this with my Leatherman, I prefer to do it with a larger knife, works really well, is I'm gonna split this piece of wood down the middle right here and uh, I don't want to damage the blade and I'm not trying to split the wood completely end to end I'm just trying to make a split in the middle of this branch okay so I've got it started and from here simply going to keep take it down just a little further until I get some good spread on it you start to get out on one side, you can always flip it around. Go ahead and put pressure on a different side. Try and travel that down. And again, it's highly dependent upon uh, what kind of wood you have around here. But this one works really well. As you see, I split it about a foot and a half, two foot. There's a good gap in there. Good springy wood. It's about all it's good for. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and get our fish ready. And this is going to be the one where I have the head off. And for most people, taking the head off the fish before you eat it is going to be uh, the preferred method. But in a survival situation, you're not really going to care. I'm going to go back behind the gills, as always. Try and cut up underneath the, uh, the chin there a little bit. Some good meat there, don't want to miss that. And you can notice I've already dispatched the fish. If you give it a good blow to the head with a log or a, a larger knife right there, knock them out, and that way they're not flipping around. And they're not suffering. You, you gotta eat, but uh, there's no need for the fish to suffer. So go ahead and knock out your fish whenever you can. Pull that off. That is cookable. It's got a little bit of a little bit of muscle in there. If anything, on my river, what what I do with it is uh, use it for bait. So I put that on a hook, and I use it all up. Waste not, what what not. I'm gonna go in through the cloaca back here. That's gonna be the reproductive uh, reproductive uh, hole. Right there, kind of a everything goes hole. Because fish are weird. Cut up to the sternum. Open it up, and we want to take out all the guts. All the nasties that can be used for bait, some of it edible. Again, you can find a use for all this. I usually use it as bait. Some of the small stuff I'll put in the crawfish traps, and it'll work for me there. Now, from the cloaca on back, I'm gonna go ahead and try and keep in the middle and simply split this fish even further without getting into the backbone. And sometimes you're going through uh, bones, you might want to use your serrated blade. It's kind of nice having the right tools for the job. Okay. And I'm going to try and cut this as close to backbone as possible. And then some. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right. So there we go. And the idea is that we have mostly that fish lying flat at this time. Now it is a very, very, uh, very vertical fish. This usually works a lot better on your, your flatter fish. But the idea is that I'm gonna cook him like that, very flat. You're wanting to get as much surface area as possible so you can cook that fish all the way through and cook it in a timely manner. So here's where this is gonna come in. I'm gonna go ahead and take my split in my wood and I'm gonna feed my, my fish through it. Okay, this might take a little bit of doing. Uh, or if I use that brain of mine, it might work even better. So throw something in there. And simply put that fish into that spot. Get it in there real well. And I'm gonna take my clamp away. Okay, so that's step number one. And with a small fish, that might be all you need right there. But I'm not done. I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more things. Usually we get fish larger than this, hopefully. Hopefully you're eating more than, than a small fish like this. What I'm gonna go get it and do is, for this kind of fish, you're gonna come in from the inside. The scales are pretty good at keeping uh, keeping this guy protected. Come again from the other side. There you go. And I'm gonna to attempt to find that hole again. Get it in there. And there we go. Okay, so you can see that that's being forced open. It means all the smoke's gonna come up next to it. It stays open as it cooks. Cooks all the way real nicely. That's that. So there's your perch on a stick. And uh, as you can see, what I've used is a counterweight for this fish. On this one, you can use this as a spit. In fact, you could cook two or three fish on this at the same time. So it's a pretty multi-purpose. Let's hook it up. Let's cook it up and uh, we'll see how they taste. All right, so we've been smoking and slow cooking these for about an hour. And I've just stoked up the fire just a little bit kind of brown it, just kind of finish it off. But I want you to see what this looks like before I take it off and eat it. And that's your wild caught perch, beautiful white fish, kind of browned it a little bit. You want to salt and pepper to taste, but that's how you do it. I've done this many times, it works out. And uh, not only do you not have to clean a pot, you didn't have to pack the pot either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Okay, sticks still mostly intact. So again, use your green sticks. I'm gonna use my knife once more. Kind of prop this thing open. Leverage. See if it'll come undone for me. All in one pretty piece. I can reuse this piece of wood again. And there you go. Now, in survival situation, I'd eat the skin as well. Uh, I don't necessarily need to right now. The only concern you're going to have is a couple of uh, couple of bones, and you can see those right there. But definitely up against that back strap, that's some good meat. Whew. It's a little hot. Hmm. Perch. Gotta love it. And again, but food is food when you're out here in the outdoors. Fish is fish, and this is one of the good ones. So, meat ready to eat.